Hey there my fellow intellectuals, how are you doing tonight? Kyle here with another video, and tonight what I wanted to talk to you guys about is this new update from the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration. Now for those of you who may not remember, the EHT is responsible for the very first image of a supermassive black hole, which they released to us back in April of 2019. Now, funnily enough, that picture was actually released on my birthday that year, so I always think that the EHT just had this secret plan to give me this awesome birthday gift that year. So, thank you so much EHT, I really appreciate it. And this year, they did not release it on my birthday, but it was fairly close, so I'll forgive them this time. But seriously, this time they've released a new image of M87's black hole, that's the galaxy where the black hole is located, about 55 million light years away from us, and this image, which I am looking at right now, looks a lot like the other image that came out two years ago, but this time it has another feature to it that it didn't have before. This time the astronomers have studied the polarization of light around the edge of this black hole. Now. The polarization of light is related to the direction at which it propagates. So we can think of light being an electromagnetic wave, which means it has an electric field and a magnetic field component, which are oscillating perpendicularly to each other as the light wave travels. And the polarization is related to the orientation of the electric field vector. So for those of you who know physics, you hopefully understood what I, what I said there. If you have like polarized sunglasses, sort of like these, except these are not sunglasses, but imagine they're sunglasses. You know, the sunglasses will essentially orient the light that's coming from the sun in a certain direction and filter light of, um, of uh, certain directions out. So that's one way to think about polarization. It gives you an idea of direction. Now, this is actually very important for M87 because M87 has a relativistic jet at the, um, that is emanating from the core of this galaxy, essentially. So the core is up here. So this is another image of M87. And its jet is... 5,000 light years long. It's just a jet of material that's just being expelled from the core at these super, super high relativistic velocities that are very close to the speed of light. And the physics of this jet is not really well understood. Though we know that energy from electrons that are you know, traveling on magnetic uh, field lines through synchrotron radiation um, you know, emanates from this jet. So there is reason to believe that having this super, super high resolution data on the polarization of light super close into the black hole can help us understand the mechanisms that are going on here with this long relativistic jet. So that is that is super, super exciting. That is like one piece of a big puzzle that still is uh, unsolved in physics. And if you want to learn more about the actual uh, press release, I'll post a link in the description below for this um, post on the EHT's website. They have a bunch of awesome explanations and some um, visual material here, which I haven't gone through all of it myself, which is actually really, really cool. The EHT has also provided the links to three papers that are related to this discovery, which are at the bottom of the same exact page. And I took a look at some of these papers and they're like 40 pages long each just about. So that's like 120 pages of reading material over the next couple of days. But nonetheless, I definitely want to try and go through it, try and make some sense of what they did because this is definitely not in my area of expertise, even though I, I do study black holes and I do radio astronomy. Um, there are a lot of things that go on in this that I definitely don't know too much about, like the general relativity behind it, the plasma physics and the, the jet physics. There's there's just a lot of different moving pieces that are coming together in this in this work. But it's super, super exciting and I am just so thrilled to be a young graduate student in the field of black holes and we're literally, you know, we're we're seeing gravitational waves, we're imaging the picture of black hole. We're now looking at the magnetic field super close into the black hole. And it's just an amazing time to to be alive and to to be able to to try and make sense of this. So Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it was kind of short, but I just wanted to let you guys know of this amazing discovery and that you should definitely try and check it out for yourself. And um, I will possibly make a video on me trying to make some sense of these papers. I'm not going to guarantee anything just because it's not, like I said, in my area of expertise, but I would like to try and really understand what was done here and um, try and communicate that to you guys. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the future. Have a good one, everyone.